Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati, and in this video, I will be talking about one of the most interview questions of Python with the help of recursion. Okay, so before going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel, Geek Coders. Here, I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Big, SQL, Python, and so on. So, if you're liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So, let's get started with today's video so here we have this question let's say we have one string that is uh, hello and here we need to you know we need to write down each character three times uh, let's say we have this h right so h repeating three times e repeating three times this we have this ll two times so it is totally six times uh, now and this o is repeating three times so like right now i'm saying that uh, we have to repeat this in three times maybe it can be repeated uh, five times or more than that okay so we need to write the code in a dynamic structure so that you know uh, a user comes and user have a flexibility uh, uh, to you know once he give or once he, she give some parameters or something like that 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 many times that string should be repeated okay so uh, let's say we have let's say s is equal to hello okay and here what I will do here for I in S and here I can create one more variable let's say S1 plus I into 3 that's it this is very simple question okay and here you can print S1 now you can see the output is same okay but we need to solve this problem with the help of recursion not in the iterative approach so what we can do we can comment all these things and just go below down and create one function let's say multiple multiple string something like that and here i pass two parameters let's say s comma n so s means the string n means how many times we need to repeat the characters now here what i will do I, if you know the recursion means here we have to pass one breaking condition so i will pass if len of s is equal to is equal to zero it means if it is empty then return what empty else return what s of zero into three it's not three into n plus i will call this function again but here I have to pass one starting from one I will pass and that's it let's say uh, call this function multiple string and here I pass s comma three and just run it now you will see will I have the same output so what if if I make it this five you can see this h is repeated 5, e is repeated 5, this l repeated by 10 times and then o is repeated 5 times. Okay, now you just if you want to understand this uh, solution then you can understand like this. See, first we are checking whether the length of s is 0 or not. So, right now the length of uh, this hello is not 0. Okay. It's not in 0. So, what will happen? What will happen it will go here okay it will go here and then it will check if x s of 0 into n so s of 0 means h into n times let's say three times i am doing plus it will call this function again but now the now the parameter is s of 1 okay so it means it will go and uh, you know uh, it will uh, take this parameter hello and again it is checking whether this is uh, 0 or not and now it is doing it is taking first parameter okay so what it will do it will take only first parameter and multiply by three times like this l into 3 plus l into 3 plus 0 into 3 and at last when it says like okay length of this is 0 then it returns empty okay now the output is this not this like uh, three, three times okay so this is the very uh, small question the main agenda of this question is to understand or like to understand the concept of recursion how does it work and what are the advantages and you know how to write the code in uh, python language basic 
basically so if you're preparing for an interview you should know how to solve problems in using recursion because nowadays like interviewer like inter in 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 interviews no one asks you the iterative approach everyone asks you the recursion approach if you know so that's it for today's video i hope you have understood this concept and if you like do share and subscribe with your friends thank you